Hi, I'm Leanne Adams, Certified Master Baker, and this is the CMB Study Hall. We're going to be making chiffon cake and discussing specific gravity. So before we start, we're going to get our mise en place together. And mise en place is French for getting everything ready ahead of time. And the first thing I'd like to do is get my pans prepped. So I want to spray them with a little nonstick spray, sides and bottoms. You could flour these if you'd like. I'm gonna put a parchment paper circle in. And if you don't have pre-made ones, you can take a piece of parchment paper and fold. I did three folds on it. And I'm gonna set this so that the point is in the center of the pan. And I've pressed a little indent of the circle of the pan. I'm gonna come around with my scissors and cut this. And you have a parchment circle. I'm also going to get set up for specific gravity. The chiffon cake that we're doing, we're going to ask you to hit a specific gravity. And I'm going to work off of 0.9. If you've never done specific gravity before, it's not as daunting as it sounds. It sounds like it's this big deal. I'm gonna take a container. Any size is okay. It has to have a flat top. And I'm going to weigh water in that container. This is a pretty big one. You could do a little mise en place cup and you're trying to get as much water in there as you can without it flowing out. You need to record that number. That's 574 grams. And for a 0.9 specific gravity, I, that's 90% of this number. So we'll have to do a little math and establish what weight we're going to pour. Why we're doing this? It creates a very uniform way of establishing whether you've mixed your batter enough. Having a, a uniform number every time you hit, you'll be able to have the same cake every time. So we have flour. This needs to be sifted. So I'm gonna sift onto a piece of parchment. This is getting the lumps out of the cake flour. If you don't do that, they're gonna stay there and be there for your whole mix and bake. We'll be able to see them later. And you can see what I'm coming up with. There's some pretty good sized lumps in there. And again, you wanna have all this done ahead of time so that you can just walk right through your mixing. Chiffon cake is blending method combined with foaming method. So for blending, we're gonna start with our eggs. Part of the sugar, uh, usually a fat, an oil, or a melted butter, and some liquid. It could be water, milk, a combination of the two, and a leavening agent. So we have a little baking powder, and this is just gonna get combined lightly. That's, that's what blending method is. We're not whipping it, we're not aerating it, we're just combining it, we're blending it. So I'm gonna get my liquids together and then I'm gonna add, again, liquids on the bottom, dry on top. Everything in baking always starts with liquids in the mix first and then dry ingredients on top. Again, we're just blending. I'm not trying to whip this or aerate this, nothing like that. If you're making a large amount of this, it would go in the mixer. We're not. That's gonna sit aside. And then separately, I have egg whites. Personally, I prefer using shell eggs for this and not um, eggs that have come in a carton. They tend to be a little 
can be, not always, but can be a little watery. I just put a little cream of tartar in. That could be any of the acids. It could be vinegar, it could be lemon juice, cream of tartar, you need a little acid. And we have a little vanilla for flavor and my sugar. And I'm gonna start making a meringue. This can go on the mixer, you can do this by hand. I don't want a really heavily mixed meringue for this. If you get a really heavily mixed meringue, your chiffon's gonna be open and airy and have an open crumb. I don't want that, so I'm gonna get my egg whites foamy and start adding a little bit of sugar at a time. If you do this, you'll get one really good Popeye arm and you'll have one really, really strong whisking arm. Again, I don't want a really stiff meringue. I want a loosey goosey one. So I'm adding a little bit of aeration to the batter, not a ton. If you notice when I'm whisking, I'm trying to come up and over. So I'm trapping some air. It's not just this. All right, very loose meringue, very, very loose. I'm gonna take a third of this, add it into the bowl, and I'm just gonna stir it in. This is affectionately called a sacrifice. We're gonna sacrifice the air in part of the meringue and lighten up the base batter. And then I'm gonna fold the remaining egg whites in, so I just, Put a third, sacrifice it, just stir it in. And then this addition I'm gonna be more careful with. I'm gonna fold. Folding is you come through the batter, up and over. Through the batter, up and over. And you're trying to pull that batter up and over. You're not beating it. You'll take the air out of the meringue. Just up and over up and over. You'll notice I'm turning the bowl as I go and I'm trying to scrape the bowl. So I'm coming 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, turn the bowl. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, turn the bowl. And you're going to continue this until all of the meringue is mixed in. You want to be zippy about it because you're working with a manual leavener. The egg whites have been whipped manually and they're going in to the batter. They need to go in the oven as soon as possible or they'll start to deflate. Scaling weight on a nine inch cake is 13 ounces. I'm going to portion 13 ounces in. And I have my oven preheated. You could bake this in a deck oven or the convection oven. Going right over. I'm gonna check this about 20 minutes. When you're taking this test, if you're in an environment with equipment you haven't used before, um, ovens you never baked in before, I, my recommendation would be you start low on your, your times and just pop in and check and see how you're doing. Don't assume it's gonna take the same amount of time it took when you baked it in your home facility. Um, give yourself a little wiggle room. 
the chiffon's done when you touch it in the center and it springs back. And I always pop them out of the oven as soon as they're done out of the pan so they can cool without being stuck to the pan.